Hello, my happy holistics. Welcome to another episode of Create Your Health. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are an artist or you love art, this episode is for you. I'm passionate about it. In a moment, we're going to meet Regine Verhoogstrat, who is a fantastic artist, healer, and psychic. Let's go see what she does. Come on in. I was an artist. I am an artist by heart. But if I'm attached uh, to the result, sometimes then the message doesn't come as clear. I channel intuitive healing images for people. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I clean my space completely. Usually I try to have as little interference as I can. And then I just connect with just the name of the person and I start to draw. And mainly, I don't take my head with me because my head might interfere. My head starts to think, oh, come on, not that. Or I just send my mind surfing somewhere and having fun, and I just work with my heart. Mm -hmm. People come when they're stuck, when they're unhappy, when they want to have a message, but mainly to be deeply seen. And it might take time then to understand that what came through me was what you needed to hear, but it's maybe not what you wanted to hear. Providing that I see you kind of energy and there's no judgment, there's mm -hmm. no anything, it's just pure love that you're offering to them. That's, that alone is wonderfully and beautifully healing. You did a little something for me, yeah? I did something for you yesterday. I love that. I'm so excited. <laughs> so before I started for you, my studio didn't feel perfectly ready yet. Then what came through was actually, that was the first image. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Is there someone in the boat? Where is Peter? It was very clear, you the boat. <laughs> mm. And the boat came back. Oh. But this time, I felt a movement straight up, like a really clear intention. The next one came true. Oh the boat was small, and I felt its power, and I also felt the vast, vastness. Um, it felt like it was growing. And it felt like still the direction was very clear. And then came the feeling of being a drop oh. in a vast ocean. And that feeling of uh, the, the opposite of what I started with. It was just, it became heavy and difficult. Oh so my. it felt sticky. Mm -hmm. And it felt important to go deeper in it to not let go of it yet. And so the drop, all of a sudden, just, whew, it's still a drop, but it's connected with every drop, with everywhere. But what was important, and as much as I walked the pain, the little stuck man on the spider web kept appearing. He's still there. Do you see that? Mm. And the message was that that was a wound that you maybe had on a very early age, but the wound was your gift. It is not about erasing that place of pain. It is about just being with it. Sort of like assimilating the pain and using it to propel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like you're recognizing a lot of what I'm doing. And to have that outside sort of person that I barely know, come in and recognize, and like you said, see, that feels really empowering. It feels really empowering. I love your wound is your gift. You know, that's what uh, true healing is all about, coming out the other side and understanding the gift of the wound, of the cancer, of the disease, of whatever it is. I think there's always a gift to be found. <laughs> well, thank you so much, really, seriously. My pleasure. Love it. Thank you. And thank you to everybody who's watching and tuning in. We so appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned and stay well and create your health.
Thanks for watching this episode of Create Your Health. Be sure to go to our website where you can watch another episode, check out a practitioner, read a blog, or go shopping. Take what you like, leave the rest, and createyourhealth.com.